Hi. Sorry that we can't have classes in person, but I am going to do a yoga class today that is great to do over and over again. I am not putting background music on, but I really encourage you to just play whatever background music you have at home that you would like to play. Also, without music, hopefully you'll be able to hear my verbal cues better. Those of you who come to a lot of my classes already have a lot of my cues memorized anyways, but I hope everybody is well, and I hope you'll be able to use this yoga class over and over again over the next few weeks to help us get through until we can all be back together again at BFR. See you guys. Love you all. We're going to start in mountain pose today. You want your feet about hip width apart. Close your eyes, relax your face, and I want you to line up your posture points, ears, shoulders, hips, and ankles in a perfect line. Gently pull your belly button up and in towards your spine to flatten your low back and to activate your core. And continue to breathe slow and deep. With your next inhale, we're going to add your arms. As you inhale, we will reach up. Holding for a few seconds as you reach up, lengthening your spine and trying to pull all of the curves out of your spine. With your exhale, we'll bring your fingertips together and gently come down in front of your body. And just do a couple more slow, deep breaths, focusing on perfect posture, a relaxed face. And remember, perfect posture starts with equal weight through both feet. Next time you inhale, I want you to go ahead and stop at the top. As you reach your fingers up, I want you to pull that belly in again and ground your heels. Again, pulling all of the curves out of your spine as you lengthen your spine. And I want you to try to fill your lungs all the way up with air, being aware that we usually only use about the top 30% of our lungs and we need to work to increase the amount of our lung capacity that we use. With your exhale, I want you to drop into a chair. With your inhale, we'll come back up to perfect standing posture, knowing that before we stretch muscles, we need to warm them up. So at the beginning of class, we spend time relaxing, focusing on yoga, warming some muscles up, before we start to stretch. So again, we're exhaling down, pulling into that perfect chair, belly pulled in, and we're inhaling as we come up, lengthening our spine. The next time you go into a chair, I want you to hold your chair so again, you glide those heads and shoulders back over your pelvis, pull your lower abs up and in, and keep your thighs parallel to each other. Bring your palms together, gently rotate to the right, pointing that right arm straight up, and then reach for the floor and ceiling, stretching the muscles that turn your trunk. Palms come back together and back to neutral. And then again, we'll rotate to the left. Opening those arms, reaching for the floor and ceiling. Palms come back together and back to the center. Belly in, chest up, relax your face. Deep breaths. And then I want you to gently press your palms into the floor, lift your hips a little bit, move your feet hip width apart, 
I want you to gently press your left palm into the floor, keeping your knees bent if you need to, and opening that right arm up towards the ceiling, turning your face towards the ceiling. And we'll switch hands, bring that right hand down, gently plant your palm, and open your left arm up towards the ceiling. Good job, left hand down. I want you to gently now wrap around the back of your knees, pulling your belly and thighs together and drop your head. Deep breath. Gently lifting your hips as those hamstrings start to relax, feeling that pull from your butt all the way down below your knee. And again, we'll inhale into monkey pose. Monkey pose, everything is long, so I need you to ground your heels, straighten your knees, lift your butt, reach your middle finger for the floor, and then I need you to lengthen your spine. So the top of your head reaches forward, belly pulls up and in to lengthen your low back, and your tailbone reaches away from your head. So your spine is long and straight. Deep breath, relax your face. Great job. Go ahead and walk those hands forward. We're going to step back to down dogs. I need you to ground your heels, straighten your knees, lift your butt, pull your belly in and relax your neck. Stretching the entire back side of your body. And then I need you to ease forward into plank chest up, belly up, reach your heels away from your head and hold strong. If you need a revision, you can put those knees on the floor like this. And then I want everyone to put your knees down and reach your butt all the way back into child's rest. Come forward into all fours. Flip your feet over right where they are and lift your butt back into down dog. Ease forward into plank, hold strong, lifting your chest, lifting your belly, reaching your heels away from your head. Relax your face. Drop your knees to the floor, press your hips all the way back, stretch from your tailbone all the way up to your fingertips. And again, come up to all fours, flip your feet over, lift your hips back into down dogs and stretch. Ease forward into plank, holding strong. Drop your knees to the floor and press your hips all the way back into child's rest. I want you to gently lower your forehead to your mat. As those low back muscles relax, I want you to gently drop your butt closer to your heels. So you have a nice long stretch of your spine. I want you to take your fingers now and walk them as far as you can to the right. So you feel a big stretch all the way up the left side of your trunk. Take a deep breath in. With your inhale, hold that stretch as you gently exhale, stretching the deep low back muscles on the left side. Great job. We're gonna walk your hands back to neutral to lengthen your spine. 
and then we'll walk those hands to the left as far as you are able. Once you get to end range, take a deep breath in. Hold that stretch as you slowly exhale, stretching the deep low back muscles on the right side of your low back. Great job, come back to neutral. One more time, lengthen from your head all the way down to your tailbone. Relax your face. Come up to all fours, flip your feet over and exhale back to down dog. This time we're gonna lift up your left leg so I want you to try to lift up in line with your body. A long stretch from your left ankle all the way to your left wrist. Grounding your right foot. As you come forward into plank, bring that left knee towards your chest, holding strong. And then back to down dogs, reaching that foot up, lengthening that left side. Plank, knee to chest. And down dog counter stretch, reaching that left leg up, lengthening your left side. Plank, knee to chest. And one last time, lengthening that left side, reaching that left leg up, relaxing your neck, grounding your right heel, straightening that right knee. And we'll bring that left foot all the way forward now into crescent lunge. Come up slowly, keeping your feet hip width apart, squaring your pelvis and shoulders up with the short edge of your mat. As you reach those arms up, we're going to sink deeper into your stretch. Pulling your belly in, reaching your right heel away from your body. So you have a long stretch right here in the front of your right hip. With your exhale, we'll bring that chest down to your thigh. And with your inhale, we'll come back to crescent lunge. Exhale, coming down. And inhale, coming back up. Exhaling down. And inhaling up. We're going to hold strong. Belly in. Reach your right heel away from your butt. Drop, dropping those arms to shoulder height. I want you to open your right arm. Stretching the muscles again that rotate your trunk. Close that right arm. And open your left arm. Close. I want you to lower your trunk towards your thigh now and do a big arm circle coming back up to crescent lunge. Lower your arms, lower your trunk, big arm circle back to crescent lunge. And one more time, arms, trunk, and big arm circle. Belly in, drop your shoulder blades, reach your right heel away from your butt building strength and endurance in your left hip and left outer thigh, stretching the front of your right hip. Deep breaths, relax your face. Great job, tip forward into three point stance. Our goal is to have straight knees and the right leg at hip height, fingertip pressure through those fingers.
Gently stepping back to crescent lunge, opening those arms up, belly in, reach your right heel away from your butt. Great job, and again, fingertips to the floor as you step up into three-point stance, holding strong. And back to crescent lunge. Belly in, reach your right heel away from your hip. And one more time, three-point stance. This time I want you to turn your face to the right. If you're comfortable opening that right arm into your half moon, holding strong. And reverse your arms, right arm down, look to the left, opening that left arm, open chest, holding strong. Great job, left hand down, we're gonna come back to three point stance. Gently stepping back to crescent lunge. And one last time, sinking into that stretch, bringing those arms up, belly in, reaching your right heel away from your butt. Relax your face, take your tongue off the top of your mouth. Hands to the floor and down dog counter stretch. So reach that left leg up one more time. This time we'll raise it up as high as you can, bending your knee and dropping your foot into the scorpion pose. And we'll reach that foot back up. Bring your left knee forward into your pigeon stretch. Remember for pigeon stretch to be safe, your butt needs to be on the mat. I want you then to square your shoulders up with the mat, dropping to your elbows. Stacking your hands and resting your forehead on the floor. Take a deep breath. Relax across your low back, through your left hip and left outer thigh. Go ahead and come up onto your hands. Lengthen your spine now through the top of your head, through the back of your neck, gently sinking your hip deeper into your mat. Relax your face, get your tongue off the top of your mouth. And then we'll step back to down dog. When you get back there, I want you to bicycle your heels, gently reaching each heel for the floor. Relaxing your face, relaxing your neck, and then reach both heels for the floor, straighten your knees, lift your butt, pull your lower abs in and relax your neck. Deep breath. And now we're gonna lift up your right leg so again, this first lift is in line with your body. Be as long as you can be from your right ankle to your right wrist. Gently step that right foot forward into crescent lunge. And again, take as much time as you need coming up. You don't want to lift your arms until your head is adjusted. Use that time to square up your pelvis and your shoulders with the short edge of your mat. When your arms come up, you drop your shoulder blades, pull your lower abs in, and reach your left heel away from your butt. With your exhale, we're gonna bring that belly down to your thigh. With your inhale, we'll come back to crescent lunge. Lining your ears and shoulders up over your pelvis, belly in, exhale down, and inhale up. 
And one more time, exhale down. And inhale up. Fingertips up, shoulder blades down, belly in. Reach your left heel away from your butt. We're gonna lower those arms. Open your right arm as far as you can, rotating your trunk. Close your arms. And open your left arm as far as you can, rotating your trunk. Close your arms. This next time I want you to reach forward, lowering your body, straight line, fingertips to hips and then open those arms back up to crescent lunge. And again, arms drop first, then your trunk, and then open those arms all the way up. And one more time, arms, trunk, and open all the way back up. Fingertips up. Shoulder blades down, belly in, reach your left heel away from your butt. Tip forward into three point stance. Again, straight knees, left leg at hip height, fingertip pressure through those hands. Gently stepping back to crescent lunge. Sinking into your stretch, belly in, reach your left heel away from your butt. And again, tip forward, three point stance, holding strong. Gently stepping back to crescent lunge. And one more time, three point stance, holding strong. and gently stepping back. Three point stance. This time we'll turn your face to the left. If you're steady, opening that left arm, opening your chest into your half moon. And then reverse, left hand comes down, look to the right and open that right arm, holding strong in your reverse half moon. Right hand comes down, three point stance, gently stepping back to crescent lunge. Fingertips up, drop your shoulder blades, belly in, left heel away from your butt, relax your face. Hands to the floor and down dog counter stretch. Again, lengthening that right side. Opening that leg all the way up and dropping your heel into your scorpion pose. Great job, foot up. Bring your right knee all the way forward. Into your pigeon stretch again. Most important thing initially is that your butt is on your mat. So square up with the mat as we lower, resting your head on your stacked hands. As you slow your breathing rate down, I need you to relax across your low back, through your right hip and right outer thigh. Remember, this is also a great position to stretch your deep low back muscles. Go ahead then and again, come up onto your hands. Lengthen up your spine, through the back of your neck, through the top of your head, and gently relax your hip down into the floor. Tongue off the top of your mouth, relax your face. And then let's put our elbows on the floor and step back into plank on elbows. 
Plank on elbows, you lift your chest, lift your belly, reach your heels away from your head and hold strong. Keep breathing, keep your face relaxed, building strength in your core. As you reach your heels away, you're building strength in your quadriceps. To protect your shoulders, we always lift our chest when we are in any type of plank position. So lift your chest. Walk your feet forward into your dolphin pose, gently grounding your heels, relax your neck. And walk back to plank on elbows. Chest up, belly up, reach your heels away from your head and relax your face. And again, we'll walk those feet forward. Gently ground your heels, relax your neck into your dolphin pose, building strength in those shoulders. And let's lift your left leg up. With your exhale, we're gonna lower your left leg. And with your inhale, we're gonna raise it back up. And we'll do one more. Great job. When you bring that leg down, let's go into child dress. Give those shoulders a break before we do the right side. So fingers reach out. Forehead reaches for the floor. Your butt reaches for your heels and you relax. Great job. Again, we're gonna go back to plank on elbows. Chest up, belly up, reach your heels away from your head. And walk those feet forward into your dolphin pose. We're gonna lift up your right leg this time. Again, with your exhale, we lower. And with your inhale, we raise back up. And we'll do one more. Great job. And again, bring that knee down. Back to child's rest to relax your shoulders. Letting your head go all the way to your mat. Your butt reaching for your heels. And then this time, let's bring our hands to either side of our legs, palms up. And relax across our upper back. Remember, you can always come down to child's rest and take a break if you get tired. It's not a competition. It's a way to decrease stretch, stress, build strength, and build flexibility. So then one more time, let's reach our hands all the way forward. Come up to all fours, flip your feet over, go back to down dogs. This time we will walk our feet forward into monkey pose. So again, in monkey pose, everything is long. So you ground your heels, straighten your knees, lift your butt, pull your belly in, reach your tailbone away from your head, and fingertips touch. Soften your knees, we're gonna unfold into perfect standing posture, keeping your knees soft if you get dizzy and we'll exhale into your chair. Palms together, take a deep breath in as you reach up, lengthening your spine. Exhale, folding forward, hinging at your hips. 
Inhale, monkey pose. And exhale, stepping back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lowering into crocodiles. Inhale, arching up. Flip your feet over and exhaling back to down dog. Stepping forward. Inhale, chest up and unfold. And exhale, chair. Palms together and inhale, reaching up. And exhale, folding forward. Belly to thighs. Inhale, monkey pose. And exhale, stepping back to down dogs. Inhale, plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arching up. Flip your feet over and exhale, back to down dogs. Stepping forward. Inhale, chest up and unfold. And exhale, chair. Palms together and inhale, reaching up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, monkey pose. And exhale, stepping back to down dogs. Inhale, plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arching up. Lift your feet over and exhale back to down dog. Stepping forward. Inhale, chest up and unfold. And exhale, chair. Palms together and inhale. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, monkey pose. And exhale, stepping back to down dog. Inhale, plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arching up. Remember, you can go right here if you don't want to arch all the way up. And exhale, back to down dog. Stepping forward. Inhale, chest up and unfold. And exhale, chair. And one more time, palms together and inhale. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, monkey pose. And exhale, stepping back to down dogs. Inhale, plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arching up. Lift your feet over, exhale back to down dogs. We're gonna hold in down dogs. So again, in down dogs, you ground your heels, straighten your knees, lift your butt, pull your belly in and relax your neck. Deep breaths. And then we're gonna step that left foot forward this time as we step it forward, we're going to go into warrior two. So that front heel needs to be in line with the arch of your back foot. Your feet stay flat. We're going to windmill those arms up to warrior twos. As we do that, we line up with the long edge of our mat. So open chest, open pelvis, shoulder blades down. Relax your face. Take a deep breath in. We're going to bring everything up, filling up your lungs. With your exhale, we're gonna drop into warrior twos, keeping equal weight through both feet as you raise straight up and lower straight down. And close your eyes, relax your face. Focus on that perfect body position, equal weight through both feet. Open chest, open pelvis. Lining up, squaring up with the long edge of your mat. And the next time you go down to warrior twos, we're going to hold strong. Open chest, drop your shoulder blades. 
Reverse warriors, that left arm reaches up, lengthening your left side. And angles, left hand comes all the way to the floor, sliding down the front of that leg until your right fingers point straight up. Back to reverse. Back to warrior twos, holding strong. Windmill down, chest right above your thigh, checking for a neutral thigh position. We don't want to let it fall in. And windmill back to warrior twos. And again, reverse. Left hand all the way to the floor for angles. Back to reverse. Back to warrior twos, open chest, windmill down, chest to thigh, and back to warrior twos. Relax your face, drop your shoulder blades, and one more time, reverse. Left hand all the way to the floor for angles. Back to reverse. Back to warrior twos, windmill down, chest to thigh, and back to warrior twos. Great job, we're gonna give that leg a break. Take a deep breath in, fill your lungs, line up your spine and stretch it out. Drop your arms to shoulder height and we're gonna do triangle stretch. All you do is reach to the left and tip to the side. Look up towards the ceiling if that doesn't make you unsteady. Right fingers point straight up. Left finger reaches for the floor. Great job. Come out of that. We're going to go into a deep center squat. So place your hands on your mat. Bring your feet in a little bit. Drop your butt. Drop your head. Stretch your hips and the muscles that run all the way up the sides of your spine. Deep breaths. Great job. Come up onto your fingertips. We're gonna do monkey pose again with our feet apart. So ground your heels, straighten your knees and lift your butt. Fingertips reach for the floor and lengthen your spine. Pull your belly in, reach your butt away from your head. Bend your knees now and drop your head straight down. Try to walk those fingers through your legs. Plant your palms on the floor and try to lift your butt into a nice stretch. Great job, come out of that stretch. We're now gonna walk your hands to the right and set up for right warrior twos. So again, your right heel is in line with the arch of your back foot. You're gonna windmill those arms up, squaring up with the long edge of your mat. Belly in, equal weight through both feet and drop those shoulder blades. And again, we're gonna reverse, lengthening the right side. Angles, right hand all the way to the floor. Back to reverse, remember those legs never change. And back to warrior twos, holding strong. Windmill down, chest right above your thigh. And windmill back to warrior twos, holding strong. And again, reverse. Right hand all the way to the floor for angles. Back to reverse. Back to warrior twos, opening your chest. Windmill down, chest right above your thigh, holding strong. And back to warrior twos, opening your chest. And one last time, reverse. Right hand all the way to the floor for angles. 
back to reverse, back to warrior twos, windmill down, chest to thigh, and back to warrior twos. Open that thigh up. Great job. Take a deep breath in, straighten that knee, relax your hip and thigh. Reach for the ceiling as you fill up your lungs, pulling all of the curves out of your spine. And then drop those arms to shoulder height for your triangle stretch. Reach to the right and tip to the side. Open chest. Great job. Go ahead and bend your right knee. I want you to step back to plank, holding strong. Chest up, belly up. We're just gonna roll into a side plank so you can face either direction. Open that arm up. If you need to, you can put your bottom knee on the floor. The other revision is to stagger your feet. The hardest way is to stack your feet. So you can choose. Deep breath. Come back to neutral, holding strong. And we'll do a side plank the opposite way. Great job. Back to regular plank. I want you to drop those knees to the floor. We're gonna revise your child's rest a little bit. I want you to separate your knees, dropping your butt all the way back into your frog stretch. So it's just like a down dog, but your knees are open. Try to press that chest and face to the floor. Your head is turned to the side. Just gently stretch the muscles that rotate your neck. And then everything stays the same. Just turn your face the opposite way. Great job. Use your elbows to come out of that. We're going to do a little bit of a straddle stretch here. So remember when you stretch your legs in sitting or in any position, it's very important your toes are neutral. So I want toes pointing straight up. You should not feel a stretch here yet. I want you to lengthen your spine. Reach over your head towards the right. Reaching for those toes that are pointing straight up. Holding for a little bit, and as those muscles start to lengthen, trying to sink deeper into your stretch. Relax your face. Great job. Come back to neutral. Again, lengthen your spine. When you do those lateral stretches, you need to come to neutral and line everything up again. Open up those joint spaces. And then we'll gently reach over your head to the left. We're always working for symmetry in our flexibility and strength, which means the same amount of stretch and strength on each side. Great job. Come back to the center. Again, lengthen your spine. Now we're going to do inner thigh. So again, really important that your toes point straight up. You can put your hands on the floor. This might be enough for some of you. If you're able to, you can drop to your elbows. And then our goal is not to put our head on the floor, it's to reach your belly button for the floor. So wherever you stop, I want you to reach your belly button for the floor. If you're able to go all the way down, you can rest your head on the floor, but reach your belly button for the floor. Great job. Use your hands to come up out of that. I want you to bring your legs forward, shake them out a little bit, relax them up. I want you to now sit on your mat. We're gonna do one hamstring stretch. Remember, belly and thighs have to touch to isolate hamstring stretching. So let's put them together right away and then you can walk your heels forward as long as that belly is still touching and your toes are pointing up. When you get to end range, just relax your head and neck. Great job. Come up out of that, shake your legs out again. Remember, if you tense your face up, you're going to limit your ability to stretch. So relax that face. Go ahead and unroll to your back. 
Gently rock those thighs towards your belly. It's okay to move in a stretch as long as it's mid-range, so it's not at the beginning of the range and it's not at the very end of your range. That way you can relax those muscles up. We're going to do just a little bit of abdominal strengthening. So I want you to bring the knees right above your hips, 90 degree knee bend, 90 degree ankle, hip bend. The most important part then is your posterior pelvic tilt, so press that belly down. Reach your upper body up and hold strong. Your face is looking up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna stretch out one arm in the opposite leg, focusing on keeping our back pressing down onto the mat. Let's inhale one, exhale the next. Great job. Go ahead and relax. Relax that head. Relax your neck muscles. Gently rock those thighs in, knowing that when those abdominals get tired, the back tries to help. And then I want you to bring your knees above your pelvis, posterior pelvic tilt, and I want you to do slow, gentle circles with your thighs, focusing on never letting your back come off the floor. Don't tense your face and don't hold your breath. Great job, when you come back to neutral, hold strong, flatten that pelvis, and we'll circle the other way. Relax your face, keep breathing, And we'll do one more. Great job. Squeeze your thighs into your belly. Bring your chin up to your chest. And one last abdominal exercise. I want you to go into a low boat and hold strong. Keep breathing. If you need to, you can put elbows and a foot down. That would be a revised low boat right here. If you're able to, you can lift everything up and hold. Great job. Relax. Take a deep breath in, get rid of all of the tension in your face and in the front of your neck. Squeeze your right thigh into your chest, stretch that left leg all the way out. Bring your right ankle in front of your left thigh for a figure four stretch. So we'll pull those legs to midline, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, gently squeezing those legs towards your belly relaxing across your low back. Another great deep low back muscle stretch. Great job, squeeze everything into the center. Stretch your right leg all the way out. And again, a figure four stretch with that opposite side. So the three things you need to do are pull legs midline, Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, pull towards your belly. The third thing is to relax across your deep low back. Relax your face. Great job. Squeeze everything into your belly, stretching your superficial low back muscles. Put your mat feet on the mat. Do some gentle posterior pelvic tilts to relax your deep low back muscles. Deep breath. Knees above your chest or above your hips. Gently rock side to side to loosen up the ligaments around those sacroiliac joints, the dimples at the bottom of your spine where your spine attaches to your pelvis. And then we'll roll to the side to sit up. I'm going to face away from you from this part, but it's really important. A great way to relax that tension in your neck. It's a really stressful time. And I know a lot of us are having trouble sleeping and a lot of tension in our neck and upper back. 
So again, I'm facing away just so you see what I'm doing. Hands behind your back. I want you to tilt your face to the right. Gently ground your left hand and hold. Relax your left hand and rotate your face to the floor. Come back to neutral. Take your chin, glide it straight back and stretch. Bringing everything back into alignment. Relax that. And then we'll take your left ear towards your left shoulder. Gently ground that right hand and hold. Relax your hand and rotate your face to the floor. Relax out of that. And again, one more time, we're gonna do cervical retraction. So you're gonna glide your head straight back and hold. This time I want you to drop those shoulder blades and gently let your chin fall towards your chest stretching out those tight muscles that carry all of that tension. Great job, come back to neutral. Let's do some big shoulder blade rolls, focusing on dropping our shoulder blades away from your ears. So drop them as far as you can. And one more time, let that chin drop towards your chest with your shoulder blades down. As you gently come out of that, we'll do one last slow deep breath in. As you bring those arms up, lengthen your spine, fill your lungs all the way up and pull all of the curves out of your spine. When you're ready to exhale nice and slow, pressing all of your air out at the end by tightening your abs up, tighten those abdominal muscles and press the air out. You guys did a great job. I hope you enjoyed class. Remember, if you do this every day, it would be wonderful for you. If you ever have questions, BFR can get a hold of me and I'd be happy to answer them. And I just think that if we all stick through this and keep positive, that we are reacting the right way and our country is reacting the right way, trying to protect us now. And hopefully things won't get as bad as they have in other places. So it was great seeing all you guys. I miss you in class. Again, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Peace, love, sending hugs. Bye.